What's up, everyone? This is Project Timberwolf. Out here in the forest. Beautiful out here. Spent the night when camping. Wrapping up now, getting ready to leave. Doing a little tour of this camper. So, here is the inside. All right, we got lights. They're dimmable. <laughs> you got lights, they're dimmable. Okay. When you go down, go up, there's air conditioning. There's a rooftop vent. Okay. Opens up. You can pull air in or out. The switch operates right here. It turns on. Oh, excuse me. There you go. So that's pulling air in. So push the air out. You open the windows, you get a nice little draft going. Okay. They also have the air conditioning. You can run it from shore power. And you could run it from the batteries. Inside of here, there's an inverter. There's a 1500 watt inverter. Excuse me. And um, you can run off the batteries in here. Or you could run it off the truck while it's running because there's an Anderson plug that's hooked up to it. You also have the heater or a spot to put a heater right there. That's a buddy heater. You got a little storage compartment there. You have storage compartments here. You got a cigarette lighter. You got a USB port right here. And what does operate? This operates this switch, right? So it turns this on and off. This operates the fan. That operates the fridge. And the fridge runs off of AC, shore power, or runs off of batteries. If you want to turn it off, you can right here. And this also operates a blower motor. So you can run the air conditioning with this closed. Okay, so go ahead and open this. There's these springs that lock on there. There's a battery switch to go ahead and kill everything. There's the air conditioning in the back of the unit. That's the blower motor right there. So it sucks in the hot air that comes out of there. And it comes out of here. There's also a vent right there, pulling fresh air. The bottom of this compartment is vented, so it also pulls in air through there. Okay. There's a water pump. There's actually, I'm gonna pause this and take out the stuff so I can see. If you wanna run it off the inverter and the batteries, wouldn't last very long if you run off the batteries. Honestly, not sure how long it would last, but. They see it's cold, you got heat. You can run it off your truck too overnight if you really want to while it's hooked up to the Anderson plug. So this way it charges while you drive. If you wanted to, you could um, run your AC power. You can run straight off of here. You can hook up the other connection that goes to the um, power strip and runs that way. There's two leads off of this guy. I know it's really dark in there, so you can't see. But there's two leads that come off of that, just regular outlets. And you could um, do that. The battery switch, go ahead and kill everything. Except the uh, AC power stuff. And what else we got? These fenders are welded on. You can jump on these, stand on them. The weight will be taken right there. You got about 12 inches of clearance on this one. And the water system, that's right. 
So you got two jerry cans back here. You can um, fill up the water. Over here has a pickup. There's a vent right there. Open the vent. Okay. Let me put this on tripod. All right, for the water system. Comes with this guy. It's a primer bulb. What you do is you hook it up right here. Prime it up. Okay. It also comes with garden hose and connector right here. Quick connect, a little pressure. Oops. Tangled at the moment. I think I made it worse. Guy. Open the valve over here. We got a switch right here. A little 12 volt light. We got a little water. Let the air come out. For a second. Once you hear the pump stops. Once Sorry, we got people with four wheelers coming back. We'll see the pump stop, prime the bulb, prime the bulb. We got really good water pressure. The wash is done. Had a little mess earlier. Oh, actually, I think this tank is about run out of water. Um, but on that note, I'm going to go ahead and show you. This guy rests there. This guy runs out of water. Turn on the pump. Just a good habit to turn off the pump. There we go. Oh. Get a little air out. There we go. Yep. Wash this down if you wanted to after a little dirty ride. Dishes. You can set up right here. You can take a shower. You can also go ahead and uh, disconnect from here. Come with this. That's part of why the primer bulb's on there. Y'all can't hear, but there's a creek down that way or no edge of a mountain and uh, mustard mustard ground so you could go ahead and put this pickup in a five gallon bucket and you can use that water from there if you want to save save your water and that's
that's where this guy comes in. So get your five gallon bucket, put this in there, pump, pump, pump. I'll get firm, you'll hear the pump stop. Let's go. Turn it off. That's the water system. You also have some shelves right here. Those are these latches. There's some paracord and a little screw right here. So it holds it in place when it's up. We got a shelf here. A shelf here. You go ahead and put your stove right there, cook. Put your spices, whatever you want to do, right there. You also got the fender. You can go ahead and set your plates there, whatever, so you can transfer things. So between all of this, you got a place to set up and cook. When you're out of the sun, you're out of the rain if need be. If you're ever in the rain, tilt one side down so you're drain somewhere. Close this up to travel. Put these little strings around. There's that. Auto opener right here. Windows are locked. The door can lock. It has a deadbolt inside too. You have these. Uh, what do you call these? Can't think what they're called, but they stop the rain from coming down if you don't got this. And uh, it's also aesthetics. So what else? What else? What else? Let's go to the other side. All right. You have these Max Tracks mounts. Excuse me, they're not Max Tracks. They're on off brand. And I cannot tell you what the name are, but they work. You got a, you got a place to hold a shovel. You got a place to hold an ax. Same thing with this fender. You can go ahead and stand on it. You can get up here jump on it it's it's not going anywhere and I don't know what it's doing you have solar up here there and the same thing you can walk up here don't walk on the solar panels obviously but you can walk up here you can walk there let me show you I go easy for myself There you go. You also have these reverse lights. They're really bright, they kind of point down. So you can see as you're backing up, there is a seven pin connector. Yes. You have also the connector to go ahead and hook up for brakes as well but it tows pretty good so um the fridge was the other thing so you have the fridge over here you got this door you got a little light same light on the other side go ahead and hit the little lock pull it out you got a fridge pull this up again in there, this door. You can lock this, you can lock this, and you can lock the rear as well, as, and also the other side. Yep. You also have under bed storage. Gotta get the mattress out of the way. up and we got storage it's uh, roughly it's a two by four height um, you can fans you can fit a couple of inflatable mattresses for your friends that are camping um, comes in pretty handy 
stuff that you don't use too often, but you want to have with you. Also, there's a smoke and carbon monoxide detector in, just in case, and a fire extinguisher. So you know, safety first. <laughs> There's your uh, smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector. Kind of fancy. She talks. Got storage here. There's actually a little opening right here. So you have about a, roughly an inch that allows you to go through. So you can run the cords through there, sit down through there. Um, and you have some storage there as well. All right, everybody, I hope you all enjoyed the video. That was a walk around of Project Timberwolf. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You could find me on Instagram at Angry Pelican Labworks. And you could, I guess, leave comments below. Hope you enjoyed it. Here's uh, videos of the camper doing what it was built to do. Y'all enjoy. Have a good one.
<laughs> All right, this is my camper. Um, I'm gonna give a tour of this camper. Been building this thing, and here's a tour. This is it. We're not off to a good start, bro.